Are you doing a sponsored silence today or something? Yeah. What's wrong? Nothing, I'm just tired. Really? That wasn't you I heard, snoring through the walls all night then? I don't snore. <laughs> so? It's nothing. Cherry? It's, my mind's just all over the place at the moment. Oh, let me guess, Jimmy. You know what, no more Jimmy. I'm obviously not on his radar, I just need to get over it. It's like you say, plenty more fish in the sea. Exactly, plenty. Oi! Watch it, you idiot! <laughs> Charming! Morning! 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 Can I see a couple of... Oh, yes, please. Every time. <laughs> hey, Jerry, some woman called for you today. Who was it? Uh, she didn't say, she just wanted to know if you were working. Patient. No, she didn't ask for an appointment. Come on, Tits, shush. It's going to be fine. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Uh, you, you shouldn't be giving him that. Get lost. No, no seriously, he's, he's too young. She'll be OK. OK, well, just that medication is not for babies. Whatever. I can take a look at her if you like. Get lost, you pedo. What? No, I'm, I'm a doctor. She does seem to be in some distress. She's fine. It's just a bit of wind. OK, well, even so, I, I work at the Mill Health Centre. It's just down the road. There's my card. If, um, if she continues to cry, then bring her in. Are you deaf? I said she's fine. I don't know where it is. Have you tried the drawers? The wardrobe, I said the drawers. Yeah. It's not the same thing. Look, I go, go. Wear something else. Bye. Jimmy? Oh, Rob. Men, I swear, are worse than children. Oh, Rob's lovely. <laughs> he has his moments. You two are great together. Like Farrah Fawcett and Lee Majors. Who? How old are you? Oh, I envy you. I wish I could find someone. Oh, you're young and gorgeous. You should be beating men off with a stick. What does it matter if it's not the one that you want? Oh, yeah. Come on. Who is? It's not like that. And anyway, he's not interested. How do you know? I just do. Well, he needs his head testing. <clears throat> Hello. Good morning. I called earlier. I'm looking for Cherry Malone. Oh, that was you. Um, well, Cherry is uh, running a bit late. Well, what time are you expecting her? I don't know. Um, in an hour or so. Um, maybe later. Is it... You couldn't tell me what this is about and I could pass a message. Oh, not to worry, dear. I'll call back. So a warning would have been nice. Sorry. So who is she? Una. Ex-boyfriend's mother. Not Scott's? No, Billy's. He was lovely, but her. What's wrong with her? What's right with her? She, me? How? You don't know her. So what's she want from you? Just asking, is everything all right with Billy? He's fine. In fact, that's why I'm here. Are you free for lunch? Um, lunch? On me, of course. Um, actually, um, I'm going out with Karen for lunch. We made plans. I nearly forgot that. <laughs> 
This may sound awfully rude, but could you be ever so kind to reschedule? Um, I, I, well, I don't know. It's up to Cherry, really. Cherry? Um, I, I promise, Karen. Well, I don't mind. We can do lunch whenever. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> After all, I've come all this way. Fine. Fabulous. I'll call you. Hmm. Let me get this absolutely straight. This woman wants to take you out for lunch. You're against it because... She hates me. Then why would she want to take you out for lunch? And how can anyone possibly hate you? Una does. I can never do anything right. She used to have a go at me about the way I made toast. Ooh, it's not brown enough. Toast is toast. Well, actually... Simon, I'm not going. Cherry, she came here to the surgery. Yeah, and if I know Una, there's definitely something in it for her. It's just lunch. And if she implied that it might have something to do with Billy, aren't you in the least bit curious, you and him, together again? I really like Billy, but not enough to put up with Monster in law. I think you're reading too much into it. I really do. Give her a chance. Maybe taking you out to lunch is her way of apologising. Anyway, enough about her. What was this Billy like? Jude Law. Really? Mm, he was lovely. Charming, funny. Does he have a brother? Simon. Anyway, what does it matter? You're always saying how you should give people another chance. Not Una. Be honest. Is this really about Una? Or is it just a way to avoid going out with Billy again? OK, fine. Call her. Cancel. So what if he looks like Jude Law and could potentially be the love of your life? You're so dramatic. Well, now you'll never know, will you? OK, OK, I'll go. But if it ends up being a disaster, I'm holding you responsible. Tell me to bring her. What's the matter with her? If I knew that, I wouldn't be here, would I? I was just asking. I got an appointment. Well, uh, what's her name so I can send you through? What? Her name. She ain't been here before. Who's she registered with? How old is she? What's that got to do with anything? I just thought she ought to be registered with a GP. Well, she's not. Enough of the lip. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well, you're doing my head in. Is someone going to see her or what? <sighs> Fill this in. I need your details and the babies. What do you need that for? Why can't someone just see her? It doesn't work like that, love. <laughs> do you want a hand with that? I'm not stupid. Come in. Dr Bond, Nadia Solomon and child. Great. Thank you. Uh, come in. Sit down. Hey. How are you? Um, how, how is she doing? Great. Thought I'd bring her here for a bit of fun. OK. Right, so... Uh, she is eight weeks. And uh, what's her name? Um, Anna. But I call her Titch. Titch. That's cute. My dad used to call me it. Oh, you're lucky. My mum used to call me Squishy. Well, she still does, sometimes. Apparently I looked like a prune when I was born. OK, let's take a look at Anna then, shall we? Can you just check her in here? She's only just shut up. Uh, yeah, if you just want to um, unzip her jacket for me. How old are you now? Fifteen. Have you started to think much about what might happen when term starts again? What? You know, homeschooling or childcare. I've got baby to take care of. Does it look like I've got time for school? Aren't you getting any help? Look, I know it doesn't seem like much now, but education is really important. There is help out there, if you want it. We're fine. But there are options. Like what? Dumping her in care? No, no, of course not. I... It's, just, it's nothing to be ashamed of, you know? What? I'm not ashamed? 
Okay, sorry if I offended you. I was just offering some advice. Yeah, well, keep your advice to yourself. Are you going to check her now or what? Yeah. So, what do you think? Oh, I thought you couldn't stand her. Well, I thought I'd give her a chance, see what she's got to say. Nothing to do with her son being hot. Might be. <laughs> this is first Jimmy now used. Must be something in the air. Mm, must be. What is it? How long has she had this fever? I don't know, uh, a few days? Why? And the wheezing? I thought that was normal. So you haven't told anyone then? What are you trying to say? Nothing, nothing. Um... You think I don't take care of her? No, of course not. Nadia, she's not well. What's wrong with her? I'm not entirely sure, but I think she may have pneumonia. What? I just want to be on the safe side. Karen, yeah, could you get me an ambulance, please? Yes, for the baby. Thank you. Ambulance? Don't panic. There's probably nothing to worry about. I just... With babies, we always are on the side of caution. So we're going to send her to hospital and they can run some tests. Why don't you wait with Karen outside until the ambulance arrives? I'll call the hospital, let them know we're bringing her in, OK? You look lovely. Oh, thank you. <sighs> I was just on the phone to Billy. He's delighted that we're having lunch. Oh, why didn't he join us? He was going to, uh, but something came up at work. But don't you worry. You two will have plenty of time to get reacquainted. <laughs> uh, dear boy, a bottle of your finest red. Oh, I can't. I'm working. Oh, come on, Cherry. One glass won't hurt. After all, we're celebrating. Celebrating. <laughs> now, I completely understand. Well, then, uh, there's a 4.40 on Monday. Uh, OK, well, then, failing that, if you want to see Dr Carter, it's got to be Thursday morning. Uh, oh, um... Where's she gone? Sorry, good job. Uh, well, she was here. So where's she gone? Well, she's probably gone out to the ambulance, I don't know. Sorry, Mrs. Signy, could you, could you? Yeah, I'll call you back. I thought I told you to keep an eye on her. Don't have a pop at me, I'm not your guard dog. I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> Nadi, where have you been? Nowhere. I thought you'd gone. Where would I go? You ain't eating. I'm not hungry. Mum, you've got to eat. I'll be fine now. It's really nice out. We should go somewhere. I thought Titch would like it, but all she did was cry. I don't know what's wrong with her. There's nothing wrong with her. She's a baby, they cry. Who's that? No one. Are you sure? Are they coming here? No, they've gone. Honestly. Oh, right. Uh, OK. Thank you. Leatherbridge Bingo Hall. You sure you got the right number? Yeah, she's written it down. So I've got the address. Yeah, but Simon, she's given us the wrong number. What's to say the address is right? Well, I've got to try, haven't I? If that baby does have pneumonia, I've got to get her to hospital before she deteriorates. Mum, what's wrong with her? What is it? 
She's boiling up. Take a jacket off. She's breathing weirdly too. Just take a jacket off. Do you know how hot it is in here? I think something's wrong. I'd know if something was wrong with her. What if she's got pneumonia? Pneumonia? Who have you been talking to? No one. You're lying. No. Look at me. Who? It's important. You took her to the doctors, didn't you? I didn't tell them anything. Do you think they're sick? Like they won't find out? How could you be so stupid? What was I supposed to do? She's been crying for days. What am I going to do? She's sick, Mum. They need to do tests. What, they come here? Are you listening to me? What am I going to say? Mum! You'll have to call them. Tell them she's fine. Please, we need to take her to hospital. Tell them it was a mistake. You don't have to come. I'll sort it. Please, just ring them. She needs you. I said ring them. Well, where are you going? To take care of your baby. <sighs> he hasn't been the same since you left. And I know I'm to blame. Una, it's fine. It was three years ago. He's had girlfriends, if I can call them that. But none of them like you. Billy said so himself. No one can compare. He said that? Yes. So why didn't he call me himself? Oh, well, he thought you might not speak to him. Why wouldn't I? Uh, he did want to call. But I thought it would be better coming from me. Give me a chance to explain. Explain what? Ah. Oh. Dessert? Shall we? Tell you what, you order for us. I'm just popping to the ladies to powder my nose. Your mother, it's Cherry. What are you doing? Give it to me. You're not thinking straight. Let me go. Please. Move! <laughs> Listen, she'll be fine, okay? If she was ill, I'd know. That doctor he lied. There's nothing wrong with her. He called an ambulance, Mum. Don't you get it? You need to believe me. She'll be fine, okay? They'll send her home, but they'll come and they'll take me. Is that what you want? That won't happen. How do you know? You don't know anything. I told you they will come and they will take me. They'll take me away and then I'll never see you again. You're my baby. They'll take you too. I don't want to lose you. Nadia, I don't want tea. Please, Mum. Who's that? Stay here, I'll check. Get rid of them. Nadia. What are you doing here? Why did you leave? Go. We need to get tips to the Just hospital. Go. Please, let me help you. I said stay inside. Who's he? You called them? No. After everything I said. What's going on? Get lost. I'm sorry. Go away. Please. Is she your baby? Why not? Leave us alone. I can help you. I can't. Go away. Mum, please just listen to him. What? For me. For you. What about me? But we need to take her. You disgust me. You're just like your dad, aren't you? Always thinking about yourself. Look, she doesn't mean it. Go. She needs help. I said go. Get lost. Ambulance, please. Sorry. Bit of a queue at the ladies. Ordered? Chocolate cake. Oh, great choice. Mm. 
<laughs> Do you remember that cake you baked for Billy? The one with the pecans? He took one bite and his face blew up like a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. Oh, wasn't it? I could have sworn that it was. I don't bake. Well, I'm sure if you tried, you would be great. I mean, you can't be as bad as one of his exes. She couldn't even make toast properly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cherry. I can't wait for the two of you to meet again. I just know that you're made for each other. Like Romeo and Juliet. Yes. <laughs> we can live happily ever after. Exactly. Including Lauren. Uh, who? I spoke to Billy while you were powdering your nose, and he told me about his girlfriend. <laughs> I can explain. Don't tell me you didn't know. Cherry. What's going on, Una? It's only a fling. You call two years a fling? She's no good for him. Funny that, because not long ago I wasn't good enough for him. Well, you don't understand. She's got him wrapped around her finger, running after her like a lost puppy. It's disgraceful. He seemed happy enough. But hardly. He wants to leave her, but she won't let him go. He said that. Well, no, but it's obvious. And what has this got to do with me? <sighs> He's moving, Cherry, leaving me all on my own. That Lauren has been offered a job in Cardiff and he's going with her. I don't want him to go. He's my son. I'll never see him. I want him to stay here in Leatherbridge. If he sees you again, he might change his mind. So you're using me? It's a win-win situation. You get a boyfriend, and I get to keep my son. I'm not desperate. But you and Billy are perfect for each other. Geographically, I mean, but he's in love with someone else. You're what he needs, not a wretch like her. <sighs> you haven't changed. Excuse me? You're still the same, mean and inconsiderate. I beg your pardon? You don't give anyone a chance. It doesn't matter who Billy brings home. You're always going to have a problem. It's not about you, Una. I think it's good that they're moving away. The further away from you, the better. How dare you, you silly See? little... I never got round to saying this the first time, but Billy was right. You're just a sad, interfering woman that needs to get a life of her own. My Billy would never say such a thing. Well, I think that's the least of your worries, because he wasn't very happy when he found out what you were up to. He's your son, Una. You should be pleased that he's found someone that makes him happy. Thank you. One minute. Nadia. Love you, Titch. Don't open it. Nadia. Nadia, can you hear me? Can you open the door, please? Tell him to go away. Nadia, if we don't get her to hospital soon, things could get very serious. Nadia, don't do this to me. We have to. Please, they'll take me away. I can't live without you. Sorry, Mum. <laughs> it's okay. You can go with them. What about my mum? She's going to get all the help she needs. <laughs> You okay? You did the right thing. 
I know. I just can't help wondering if there might have been another option. You saved a child's life and you gave another one hope. You, Simon Bond, are amazing. Come on, I've got a bit of chocolate cake with our names written all over it. I take it I owe you an apology. Disaster was the word Karen used. Don't ask. At least we know that Billy's not the one. Who was I trying to fool? It's not about Billy. It never was. Girlie is going to the child's shop. Why? Because they're not a girl. I think that you are. You've got to do something about my dad. Excuse me? The pills. They're not working. It was love at first sight between Jimmy and Harriet. You're a waste of space! I wish you'd died instead of Mum. Anne Robinson broods another nervous nine through the ring.